Is that Karin? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Wait, some kind of device is active here. Yakumo, what's going on? There are two Karans? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arhabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. <sighs> what? Did he just get absorbed? Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on, but does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? We need your help to close the Kunad Gate. Please, help us. We heard what you were saying. When you traveled 2,000 years in the past, you created an entanglement. The Kunad Gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists. So we need you to come with us so we can unravel... No! How tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. Where did you even learn about the red strings? From Arahabaki. Or, more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw, we are one now. So Yakumo was connected to it while in cold sleep? How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Arahabaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Babe. When our brains were being hacked at Arahabaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field... It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Arahabaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the Moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. I 
understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. I must break you to obtain your aid! I won't let you get in the way. We're here because we've survived many battles. Remembering our experiences should help us. Good, I made it. I'm sorry, I'll focus. Stand in my way! That's gonna leave a mark. Run, youngster! Too slow! Let's go! Time to fight back! Thanks, Sonny. That's gonna be Give it to me, Arashi. There will 
be nothing left. No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin! Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still. Let's keep going. Absolutely. 
Please do not stand up. You can't take any more. <sighs> Karin. I won't. I won't let things end here! What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Huito! Anyone? What? SAS and Brain Talk are offline. Is this Karin's doing too? I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise! I'll figure out what's going on later. Everyone should be fine. They're probably fighting just like me. I can't break after coming this far. Like you, I won't erase the proof of all the hard work my sister went through in her life. As long as I remember her, she will live on. That's why I'm not alone. Kasane! I'm on my way! Don't tell me they got you! Yourselves. 
to accept it! made it. Thank goodness. Uh, Yuito. You're always saving my life, so I thought I should probably return the favor. Not like I was keeping track. But thank you. I will not fail! It's not just our power. It's all of our powers, working as a team, as one! Our bonds give us strength! in this world and it is denied to me give up you fought and lost we're done here 
You don't have to keep doing this, Karin. Yes, I do. I can still... <coughs> Karin! Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Shut up! <laughs> Karen, the world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then... That leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunad Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunad Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use Ara Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. That shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. Will Yuito and Kasani's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. 
Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use our Habaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? I'll be right there. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad Gate. <laughs> Our Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready, too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you. But we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting our Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to our Habaki. Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. I've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right then. Do it! Karin! We trust you. If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos Terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> Karen! I can't. 
can't give up. Not after all these years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... to sacrifice... your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Karin! Karin, I... Where did he... What just happened? Look! The Kunat Gate! Beautiful. Does that mean... We... Pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means. Mm. By traveling into the past, I wonder if we. changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin, we won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. It's beautiful. I wish you could see it. Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fubuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunad Gate suddenly disappeared. 
What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? <laughs> Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice. It's you. Wait. If you're here, then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? I don't know him. Do I? I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Sorry, am I late? It doesn't look like Major General Fubuki is here yet. Ugh, who does he think he is keeping me waiting? Whew, maybe I'll take a nap. Major General Fubuki is a little late. Maybe I should contact him. By the way, do you want to talk to the others? Okay. I'll contact Major General Fubuki. It's not so bad for a loner like me. But for those of you with family and friends, it's tough to keep track of what changed and what didn't. The world left us behind. Saying it like that sounds pretty lonely. It's nice to have you guys to share these complicated feelings with, though. It's unfortunate that even though history was rewritten, Naomi and the others are still dead. Yeah, but she found a reason to live. I have to accept it and live myself. You are so strong. I have to keep working hard until I retire too. That's so you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I guess people will say I'm a stick in the mud. Well, even if I've started to age, there should still be some time before my power starts to weaken. I plan to do all I can in the OSF until my superiors order me to retire. And after that... You're going to help create the new system, right? Yeah. Yuito said he wanted to change this country like I did. So I'm thinking I want to help him do that. I see. He must be happy about your support. You should think about treating him to your cooking sometime. I bet your skills have improved. Yeah, I've gotten pretty confident. I also expanded my repertoire. Although, I have to follow Naomi's recipes, or ones I found on the cooking database. Besides, I started a new hobby. Sugumi is teaching me how to garden. Sounds like you're living life to the fullest. I'm sure you'll find even more hobbies at this rate. I guess you won't have anything to worry about when you finally retire. <laughs> That would be good. By the way, I heard you were participating in the Lunar Surface Survey Project. Yes. People are probably suffering there like my sister did. I was surprised when I first heard. But a part of me also understood. It was so like you. Something really outside the box. 
I can't even imagine what challenges are waiting for you. But I'm sure you'll be able to get through them. Yes, I'm confident. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Go follow your heart. I'll be watching over you from down here. And I'll be watching over you from the moon. Karin traveling through time and Alice being alive. There has to be some sign of causality here. It's like an exaggerated butterfly effect. Trying to figure it out would be a waste of time. Frankly, it was a miracle. I hate saying something so illogical, though. What are you going to do? Me? I don't have any big plans. I'll just stay in the OSF and it'll be the same old, same old. I could just retire and sleep all day, but such a sudden lifestyle change sounds like a pain. Because you're worried about Major General Fubuki? Do you think I'd do something so illogical? Well, it's not like I don't plan to look in on him sometimes. I just don't want him to go messing around somewhere and have to go running to help him. That sounds like worrying. Well, you're free to interpret things that way if you want. Being stubborn will only expend needless energy. I want to increase the energy efficiency to coincide with Arashi version 2.1's official release. Now, if only I could put an end to keeping up that fake smile for the OSF's PR work. Uh, I want to go to the moon, too. You heard I was going to the moon? Yeah, since I'm in charge of PR. Anyways, that's quite an idea, leaving Earth. I have trouble just leaving the house. However, that's an interesting viewpoint. I'm a little interested in space development, especially zero gravity. Just floating effortlessly and sipping soda out of a straw? That's the dream. Even with version 2.1, you're still the same old Arashi. Enough joking around, Kasane. You chose a pretty hard path. Just try your best and promise you'll come back safely. Okay, I promise. So will you be updated to your next version by the time I come back? Hmm. I didn't even think about it, but that's possible. I don't know what the future holds. Well, let's just say you'll have to wait and see when you come back. Karin talked to me a few times when I was a cadet. He was so nice, too. At the time, I wondered, why me? There's nothing special about me. I finally understand. It was because I look so much like Aunt Alice. You know a lot about Seiron City, right, Kasane? We should go sometime. I want to learn about cities other than Suo. Like, what kind of people live there and the lives they lead. Sure. I don't know too much, but I can show you around. Thanks. So, when would be good? We should probably do it soon. Why? Well, I heard that you're joining the project that's going to the moon. Then you know. The planning and preparations will take time, so it's not like I'm leaving right away. I realized that you were going somewhere, but I didn't think it'd be the moon. I was just so surprised how far ahead you're thinking. I think it's a really amazing decision. It's not that amazing. I'm just doing what I want to. That's what makes it amazing! I mean, we're talking about the moon. It's really far away. Do you think it's reckless? No. I already told you before. I'll always have your back. No matter what path you decide to take. I mean, we're friends! Distance doesn't matter between friends. Even if it's from the Earth to the Moon. Thank you. I feel so much better knowing that you're cheering me on from Earth. And I'll be cheering you on from the Moon. I know you'll be able to tell Yuito how you... Ah! Don't say it out loud! Really? I think it's important. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, but if you say you're going to be cheering me on from the Moon, I'll get embarrassed every time I look up at it. You're strange, Hanabi. What? That goes for you, too.
Perhaps the reason we know that history has changed is because we were connected to you via SAS. Due to some effect of the Red String's power, we weren't affected by the change. Thanks to that, my brother will not be forgotten. Regardless of the outcome, I think that was good. You were worried about losing your power. Has anything changed? There is no change currently. Though I am sure that like Yuito, the possibility of losing my power is still present. I don't feel as uneasy or impatient as I did before though. And I did have you to listen to me. I'll do what I can now. I'll fulfill my duty as an OSF soldier and slowly change this country. A country where being a dud is in a disadvantage. Yes. Think of it as an offering to my brother's memory. I was suffering in secret, just like my brother. Worrying about what could happen because I was a dud. Should I say condolences about Karin? I haven't been able to really accept what's happened yet. Me neither. I'm still coming to terms with this new world. It's such a strange feeling. We're the only ones left from before the timeline change. You're right. The entire world changed without us. That's not something that happens every day. I once said that my brother is possessed by powers. Perhaps in the end, my brother was manipulated by the tremendous power of the Red Strings. Or perhaps my brother was happy to fulfill his wish using that power. I don't know, but he probably doesn't have any regrets. He doesn't seem like the type. Yes, that is how he was. I won't forget about Karin. Thank you. Even if it's just a little at a time, if we can reduce the number of others, then we'll be able to walk around outside more freely. I'm sure that there are lots of forests and fields of flowers I haven't seen in the world. Someday, I'd like to look for places like that. I bet there are plants I've never seen on the moon, too. That's probably true, but why? Are you planning to go to the moon? No, you. I heard you were going to the moon. Oh, so you knew. Not right away, but that's my plan. So, it's true. I won't be able to have tea and talk with you face to face once it happens. Can I ask why? Did you hear about metamorphosis happening on the moon? If people there are suffering like Naomi, I don't want to idly watch from the sidelines. I actually thought I wanted to go to the moon too. But when I talked to Kagura about it, he told me absolutely not. He really cares about you. I'm sure he's just worried. Yeah. But this whole time, I had regrets. I was shocked when Naomi transformed in front of me. I couldn't do anything. It's not like me going would change anything. And a change in environment really makes me anxious. But still... Still, you wanted to go to the moon to help someone. Yes. Besides, I'm also interested in moon vegetation. If you're serious about it, then you'll be able to convince Kagero. Besides, it'd be reassuring to have you come with me. It was so easy when we teamed up for my first training exercise back when I joined the OSF. Yes, it was easy for me too, because you were so confident for a rookie. I'm going to try to convince Kagero. I mean, I don't really need to. He should understand once he realizes I'm serious. Yes, let's go together. I'll help you collect moon plants. That would be great. I've seen many generations these past 2,000 years, but there hasn't been one quite as shocking as this. Well, 
I suppose it won't be that bad to be buried in this era. It looks like Togetsu's cryogenic sleep device is stopped too. So I guess that means I need to be awake and live. Well, I'm destined to go to prison. At least I'll have work to absorb me until then. Yeah, you should make up for what you did. I'm prepared for that. Anyway, I hear you're going to the moon? Yes. I suppose the moon is your home. Do you want to go back? Hmm. I don't think so. That feeling is gone. So, you don't have any connection to it now? That's complicated too. I linger over it sometimes. Like, I want to know what happened to my family. I know they're not alive anymore. There might not even be any trace of them. Even so, I want some clue. Maybe I want to see what kind of lives the two of them led, and what the moon is like now. Then you should come to the moon too. Then abandon the responsibility of what I did here? <laughs> I can't do that. That's too selfish. You can come after you pay for your crimes. I'd feel reassured if I knew you were coming eventually. That's unexpected. Do you really rely on me that much? No, I just think Shin Daniel's knowledge would be useful. So, I'll be waiting for you on the moon. You can be surprisingly kind sometimes. I hope my Sugumi grew up to be like that. Your Sugumi? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. Don't tell anyone. It's awkward. My daughter's name is Sugumi. Her hair was a lot like yours. I see. That's why you were so pushy about our date. I always wanted to go somewhere with my daughter when she was grown. Well, the only part of you that's like her is your hair. Because I'm sure my daughter grew up to be a much kinder, stronger, smarter, and well-behaved individual. Like our Sugumi? Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I was first drawn by her name, but that was just the start. I know she's not my daughter. I like our Sugumi for who she is. She's a really good girl. She'd be glad to know that. So, what are you going to do? Are you coming to the moon? I think I'll leave the preliminary surveying to you while I do my time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Fine, but I'll put you to work when you finally get there. You're gonna join the Lunar Surface Survey Project too, right, Kasane? I wonder if my power will reach the moon. It probably won't, though. I actually run an OSF fan site, so I want to post news about you on the moon. It's not just you, though. I want to post updates and share with everyone on the net about all the people that go there from the OSF. I got it. What if you write some kind of lunar diary while you're there? Then we can turn it into a book. I'll help. I'm thinking of applying for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. There's so much drama hanging out with you. You're so eccentric. <laughs> I was only logistical support here. So I hope I get out there together with you on the moon. I like getting exercise. I'll have your back too. Let's do our best. It looks like the new Himuka government is dismantling the Togetsu faith. The design children there will probably be dealt with too, as they should be. I hope that the information Togetsu has can help this country's future. That also includes my knowledge. I thought that if history changed and Alice was alive, maybe Captain Seto was too. But we weren't so lucky. He's gone. I feel like I understood Karin just a little for a moment. But I wouldn't want to do the same thing. I heard you were going to the moon. Yes, that's right. How selfish. <laughs> I'll be glad to have you gone. You've had me running all over the place. What are you going to do, Shiden? Don't ask questions you know the answer to. I'm staying in the OSF, so they have to recognize my strength. I thought you'd stopped worrying about what other people think. <laughs> I'm not worried about what other people think. 
I want to have more of a voice in the OSF. The fighting between Seiron and Suo hasn't completely died down yet. The cities will need to continue improving their relationship. I don't want bloodthirsty idiots who don't know anything giving me orders. Well, you surprisingly put some thought into this. I figured you were only interested in making yourself stronger. Of course I still want to be stronger. But that won't be enough to beat you. I thought you were like me. But then you said you wanted to go to the moon. I've started to look at the big picture as well as the future because... I don't want to lose to you. That wasn't my intention, but it's good to have a broad perspective. Besides, you might finally gain the composure you need to lead a platoon. <laughs> You're looking down on me again. Ah oh, well. You should know that I'm going to beat you one of these days. Maybe not now, but one day. So you can't just leave without a rematch. Okay, we'll meet again. I, did, I didn't say I wanted to see you. But I'm also not saying I don't. Major General Fabuki is a little late. By the way... No, it's fine. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here, little by little. Alright, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Sunny. I heard that you're leaving. That you're going to the moon. Yes. It's something I've been thinking of ever since we heard about it in Togetsu. If the people there are suffering from metamorphosis, then there might be something I can do to help them. What if we can control the other particles by using New Himuka's metamorphosis technology? Wouldn't that be ironic? I'm glad to hear a lot of people will be helping you. Honestly, I half expected you to try to do it alone. I would if I had to. It won't be a problem. Even if I'm alone. Yeah, you're right. We're alone. Maybe that's just part of being alive. But we're still connected. No matter how far we go. Yuito, what'll you do now? I figure I'll stay in the OSF a little bit longer. 
After that, who can say? I'd like to make a society where powers don't decide your fate. And I need to deal with my family's actions. Changing the world is definitely a tall order. I know it'll take more than just talk. Don't forget, we saved the world. We already did the hard part. That's why. It's up to you to protect this place. <sighs> right. I've got this. <laughs>